Welcome back to Camp Out West and the year everything changes. If you're new here, we're John and Emily and we live in West Wales with our sweet dog Maggie. And today we're celebrating one year and seven months since we sold our home and all our belongings to buy this abandoned caravan park. As the new year begins, we're excited for the changes soon to come as we continue bringing our once forgotten land back to life chasing our dream of living mortgage-free and building our own tiny home. Our hopes for this year is to expand our garden, continuing our journey of becoming self-sufficient, learning to grow and preserve our own food. We'd also love to welcome some more chickens to our flock, and this year will also see us creating a new business on our land, as we get ready to welcome guests with the opening of our own campsite, and not forgetting finishing building our own tiny home. We have a feeling this will be our biggest year yet, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see how we get on. Welcome back to Camp Out West. I can't believe we're starting another year on the land and this is our first video of 2024. If you'd watched the last episode, you'd have seen us starting work on our own tiny house. And today we'll be putting up the walls, which means it's gonna really start looking like a home. I actually can't believe we've been in the caravan for 19 months, can you? Yeah, it's gone like pretty quick, but I think we're, we're quite over the caravan. This is our second winter now, and the caravan's in a much worse state than when it started. Not that that was great. I think most of the things inside are slowly breaking, so we're very much ready to move on to yeah, somewhere new, so that's what the cabin's gonna be. Yeah, what do you think you're most looking forward to this year? Uh, I think since moving onto the land, we've not had like a proper indoor shower. So we built a shower outside quite early on. And what, a couple of months ago, that shower unit started catching fire. I think we showed that before. So having an indoor shower in the cabin is gonna be, I think a game changer. I think this year, like we're kind of missing, like being able to go out and do exercise and like, I like cycling, Em's into running and stuff with Maggie. I think, cause we haven't got a, like a consistent shower. We can't really do all the active stuff we want to do so yeah, much. Yeah, it makes it tricky. It makes you less inclined to want to go out because you know when you get in, you can't have a warm shower. Yes, yeah, so that's the main one for me. For 2023, I found that having a fridge or fully functioning kitchen in the caravan and doing this alongside our full-time jobs, that we got on the worst routine when it came to prioritising our diet and making sure our bodies were getting everything it needed. And one of the best and easiest things we implemented last year was making AG1 a part of our daily routines. Yeah, a big thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Designed by scientists, AG1 is an all-in-one nutritional supplement containing a convenient and comprehensive blend of over 70 high-quality ingredients. Containing essential vitamins and minerals to help support physical and mental health. And make sure your body is getting everything it needs. If you're like us, we love to research products before we buy them, just like anything that we buy for the land. Yeah, we research it, we watch videos on it, and we look for credible reviews. Anytime we're spending our own money, we see it as an investment, so we make sure to do our own research. We first came across AG1 on the incredible podcast of Dr. Andrew Huberman, and we quickly understood why so many of our friends were already customers. Personally, I used to find it really overwhelming when it came to supplements and knowing what I should be taking, and AG1 just took all the confusion away. Designed to meet all the nutritional gaps in our modern diet and help simplify our health routines, AG1 has created a product that gives you all the vitamins and supplements you need to help your body function at its best. As well as helping support immune health, increasing focus, energy levels, and managing stress. Today is day 57 since I started taking AG1 and I love knowing implementing something as simple as this into my everyday morning routine means my body is getting everything it needs for the day ahead. Just add one scoop and mix it with water and it's as simple as that. So if you're looking at investing in your health this year and making sure your body is getting everything it needs, just head to drinkag1.com forward slash campoutwest to place your first order. By clicking this link, not only do you support our project and channel, but AG1 is giving you all a free one year supply of AG1 vitamin D3 and K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Any questions about AG1, just let us know in the comments section and a special thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Now let's crack on with today's video and get back on the tiny house build. So if you watched our last episode, you'd have seen us doing the framing for our first two walls of our cabin. This is where we got to in our last episode. So today's job is framing where the doors and windows will go. First thing we did was double check all the frames and openings were still nice and square. Then it was time to start adding extra material which strengthen and support where the door and windows will go.
we're on to the, the first header. So we've done the two jacks and this is going to be the header. So because the door isn't a very big opening, we're just using uh, the six by two timbers doubled up and then it's going to have four supports then above it, like the cripples. So um, I've just clamped these together. These are exactly the same size and now we're just going to nail these together. So this acts like one piece and then that can slot in then. That's the first opening done on the wall. So all we've got to do tomorrow is one small window for the bathroom, bigger window for the, the living area. And then we can actually put our main walls up then, which should be uh, really exciting. And then we're on to the, the far end, which is the bedroom. And that's got one massive window. So there's not actually that much, I guess, work to the wall because it's mainly glass. So that should go up pretty quick. So looking forward to that. The next morning we made the most of the sunshine and took Maggie for a walk in our favorite woodlands before we started work. Then it was back home to carry on where we left off. That's how cold it is. Our wood is frozen together. Mm. <laughs> Literally. That is solidly <laughs> frozen together. First up was adding the framing where the bathroom window will be going. We checked again that the opening was still square before adding the bottom window supports and the sill. Then it was time to add the supports and frame for the big living space window. Then I finished up the sill and the supports below the window. Framing complete, it was time to start on the noggins which help add strength to the walls.
So today's really exciting as we're going to start putting up the walls of the cabin. Yeah, so while Em was away yesterday, I finished framing the bathroom window and the main living room window. So that's all done. So this whole wall is completely finished. So that's the one we're going to lift first. And then the next wall is ready to go up as well. Uh, we haven't done the noggins on the one that's underneath, but we can do them when it's stood on its end. And then once those two are up, we can build you know, both ends, um, which is going to be quite simple because they're well, they're over half the size of the other ones. Yeah, and the, one of them's got a massive two metre by two metre window, so really there's not going to be much There's not much, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, let's get to it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. I'm doing it. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, it's not going to fall, is it? The first wall is up. Yeah, so this is our first half of this front wall. Um, it's great because the floor is obviously perfectly level and it's nice straight timber. It's just sat there, not really, well, we haven't supported it yet. We're going to put a leg on it, but we're just going to knock it out so it's completely flush with our with our floor, but yeah, it's looking quite straight, which is good. All right, it looks like an actual building. Yeah, and we've already seen the view from the door, so it looks good. <laughs> right, good. I'm just gonna put one in the corner here because it's actually at the right. This is actually ridiculous. Uh, it was the saw. <gasps> It looks nice, doesn't it? This is literally going to be our little house, though. Yeah, like when you look, look inside for internal height, like if you stand up, that's loads of room. <laughs> I'm and not the, even going to be able to touch the ceiling. And from there, think. Just like, think in the caravan, I'm like that and I can touch the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, but just think the, the, the whatever our flat bit on the roof is, is going to be that much taller. But it's not going to be flat, it's going to be... But where the flat bit of the ceiling oh, yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. will be that much taller. So that's another that on top. Brian, um, can you believe you built this? Cool, it? Going 19 months later. 19 months later? 19 months later since we moved on to the land. Crazy, isn't it? So we've just put two screws in the, the bottom plate for now, just so it's fixed to the floor. And then we've stuck this one brace out. So the next bit we're going to do is put the next piece of the, this front wall up, and then we're going to attach the two together. And then, yeah, I guess go on to the next wall. Because ideally we'd put these braces on the inside. That's where it's going to be the strongest. But obviously the other wall is in its place, so. Right, ready? Bend your knees. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. John, when you were kneeling then, you were basically the same height as me. <laughs> right, how far off are we on your side? Uh, not that far off. Right, let's get it vertical so we're not holding the weight. Yeah. I kick it. How far are we off the edge of the other one? Uh, it's like that much. Okay, keep going. Just get it flush on the side. <laughs> then we'll knock it from the end. <laughs> That's it, perfect! Oh, the framing you did looks amazing, John. This is so cool. <laughs> Heavy? Yeah. Mm. Good <laughs> <laughs> on the slope. Yappy? Good. Yeah, me dying. Yeah. That's a squeaky one. That's a squeaky one. I didn't really realise that the window was this big. Come on it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on into your Hi, house. Yep. Up, up, up. Hold up. Good Go on. Girl. Up. Bring it in. You Good girl. Go. Yeah. Good girl, stay. <laughs> stay. Maggie, stay. Hello. <laughs> so now that we've put the walls up, we still need to join the two sections together. But before we do that, we're going to attach it to the floor and just make sure it's nice and straight all along. So using two methods, we've got these structural screws, which are 150 mil. And we've also got these left over from another project years ago, uh, some 130 mil coach screws, 10 mil. So we're just going to use both of these, fasten it to the floor, make sure that it doesn't separate or take off or anything in the future.
Once the first wall was attached, it was time to put up wall number two. There you go. Way. Good? Yeah. Cool. Well, you can tell this one doesn't have noggins in it already. Look how God. rickety it is. Yeah. So maybe we should have done the noggins first. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, hold it. Oh, you got space your side? Yeah. All right, just don't let it slide off. Okay. Cut. Yeah, it's really good. I went along and checked everything was flush and straight, and then started attaching the walls to the base. Then it was time to attach the two walls together. What is that? Have you got a stick? Come on. Good girl, come on. Up, 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 up. Up. Good girl. Come on. Let's go. Come on, girl. <gasps> Hi! You made it! Where's your dad? Oh, good girl! Maggie has spotted all the girls on the roof. You're watching the girls. Anytime the girls go on their roof, it triggers Maggie's natural hunting instincts. She's literally stalking them. You'd think after having the girls for five months that the novelty would have worn off by now, but Maggie is still obsessed with them. The sun's about to set on us and we're chuffed. We've put up the two main walls and um, we can actually see that this is going to be a, a little home now. We can look out the window and actually see the view that we're going to have in the cabin and it looks amazing. It's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be because even though we've had the chassis for ages, it was really hard to get an idea of how big this space will be. Yeah, because we're not, well, we're not the tallest of people, <laughs> but what's at the top of this structure at the moment is 2.4 metres and then we've got another timber to go all the way around the top and then we've got the roof going on. So I think internally it's going to feel like nice and spacious compared to what we're used to now in the caravan. Oh yeah, the caravan. We you can, can do that to the ceiling. ceiling. And like I said, we're not very tall, so. But this is so much wider than the caravan. Yeah. So when we were planning on what size to do, we booked and stayed in loads of similar Airbnbs and we took tape measures with us so we could get like a rough idea of what sizes worked. And we stayed in one that was similar to, lit to this, wasn't it? Yeah. And we just did it a bit bigger, just so we'd have the more, more room. And I'm really glad we did that because it does feel so much more spacious. Yeah, definitely. So I just thought we'd show you where everything's going to go in here. So this end bit is where the bathroom's going to be. We've got our window here, which is a frosted window that we've bought. And we're going to have a little vanity sink here with storage underneath toilet where I'm stood and then the shower will be in this space here and then we're going to have like a pocket door here so I'm coming out of the door we've got front door and then this is where our kitchen's going to be we decided not to have a window on here because we wanted to have really nice open shelving um, so this is yeah this is where the kitchen will be with the sink and we're going to have like a breakfast bar coming off at the end so you can sit there you've actually got somewhere to sit and eat food um, this wall here is going to be our log burner. We cannot wait to have a log burner. We've never had one before, but that's always been our dream. So log burner here. We've got our really nice picture frame window here, and we're going to have like a sofa underneath. We just think this is going to be such a nice space. 
and then the wall opposite me where John's standing now. So this wall, we think we're going to have a TV because these are going to be guest accommodation. This is where all of you will be able to book and come and stay. We're going to have one of those picture frame TVs here where you can put like pictures and portraits on it. Um, it has like a really nice wooden frame on it so it will really tie in with the cabin nicely. So TV with like a, some type of storage underneath and then this whole back section here, this is going to be the bed. We really like the idea of having some storage underneath the bed and maybe like a section at the end of the bed for people that bring their dogs. Like we stayed in one before and it had like a whole wooden platform where your dog bed goes. So we really love that idea. And then behind me, we've ordered a massive two meter by two meter window. So that's going to fill this whole space and flood the end of the cabin with natural light. And there won't be a lander over there. Yeah, there won't be a lander over there. We are thinking of selling it. So if anyone's interested, let us know. But um, yeah, this will be a massive window which will look out. And in a dream world, we want to have like outdoor baths for guests. So yeah, it's just so cool to actually get a feel of the space and just know that it's actually a lot bigger than we thought. Tour complete, we then started adding the noggins to the back wall to help strengthen it. John carried on in the dark and I went in to make us dinner. And that's the back wall complete. So that's the end of today's video. We can't believe after one year and nine months since we moved onto the land that we're finally putting up the walls and it's starting to feel like we're actually doing what we intended to do and build our own house. Yeah, it's amazing literally what some good weather does. I know it's been really cold, but we've had dry weather now for about a week. And uh, we've done like a lot of progress this week and like we're fully on it now. I think like tomorrow is dry again, so we can't wait to get up and carry on with this. Yeah, next we'll be doing the two end walls and we're gonna work on the roof, which is just gonna be so exciting. Yeah, our initial plan was we were gonna do like a slightly sloped flat roof, but we've kind of looked at different designs and things now and we are favoring more like an apex roof, yeah. like more like a traditional cabin. So um, yeah, we need to look into like the logistics of making that. So we're looking at either ordering roof trusses or actually making our own roof so we're going to look into that and figure out what's the best option if anyone's done like an apex roof any advice let us mm. know yeah um but that is the end of today's video we hope you enjoyed watching and as always you can follow us on instagram at camp at west to see what we get up to in the week but we really feel like things are going to get a lot quicker now with more regular videos so we're really excited just to have you guys join us on this journey cool so we'll see you next time see you next time